Hi, welcome to Concept Elf. Today we'll learn how to solve few crazy power division questions. Have you ever seen such questions in ACT and SSC exams and wondered what they are and how to solve them? At Concept Elf, you'll get the clarity to such questions and many more. Did you know that there are certain formulas using which you can solve such questions in Jiffy? First, let me write a general formula. For example, on the whiteboard, x bar n divided by x minus 1. So x bar n is a numerator and x minus 1 is a denominator. In the denominator, we have a negative sign and the base of the numerator and the denominator are same. That is x. So in this type of question, if we have to find the remainder, then we can say that remainder is always 1. So you have to make sure that the denominator has a negative sign and the base of the numerator and the denominator is both same. In this type of question, the remainder is always 1. So, how big the value doesn't matter. But you have to see that the value of x should be more than 2. Now, let us try what we have learned in a question. Like 235 square divided by 235 minus 1. In this, if you see, the base value is same, that is 235, and there is a negative in the denominator. So, comparing with x power n divided by x minus 1, we can easily see that x is 235, and the power n is 2. So, put the values. Now, x is 235, and n is 2. So, we already know that if the base is same, that is 235 in the denominator and 235 in the numerator and there is a negative sign, then the answer to this type of question is that the remainder is 1. So now the answer to our question that 235 square divided by 235 minus 1, the our remainder to this question would be 1. The our remainder to this question would be 1. Now let us try one more question. So it says 3 power 367 divided by 3 minus 1. So we have to find the remainder of this question. We can say that the denominator base 3 and the numerator base 3 is same. So if we compare this equation with x power n divided by x minus 1, we already know that the answer is 1. So now this equation is similar to this equation. So the remainder answer of the division is 1. Yes. Now, if we see the base of the denominator, we can say that there is a negative. We have to make sure that the negative sign is there. Now, let us understand the formula if there was a positive sign in the denominator. So, x bar n divided by x plus 1. So, here there is a positive sign in the denominator. First of all, make sure that you check the signs. So, in this case, if there is a positive, then there are two cases. Case 1. Both the cases depend on n. So if n is even and second if n is odd. Now see where is this n. So if you see the numerator, you'll see that there is a bar above x. So this is the n. Now if n is even, then the remainder is 1. On division, we get the remainder as 1. But if n is odd, then we get the remainder as x. This x is the value that is in the base of the power. So you can take the value from the numerator or from the denominator. Now let us try out a question. So the question says 135 power 18 divided by 135 plus 1. So first you have to check the sign in the denominator and if the value is same. So 135 is same and there is a plus sign in the denominator. So compare it with the equation x power n divided by x plus 1. So now next thing we have to check is whether n is odd or n is even. So n is in the power of the base. So in the numerator, check the n, power n. So it says n is 18. So since 18 is an even number, so we already know that if n is even, then the remainder is 1. So the answer to our question 135 power 18 divided by 135 plus 1 is 1. Let us try out one more question for our satisfaction. So it says 135 power 21 divided by 135 plus 1. So first check the sign in the denominator plus. So the general formula would be x power n divided by 
x plus 1. So now we have to check the two cases for n is odd and n is even. Now let us check the value of n. n is the power written above the base that is 21 here which is an odd value. So if the value of n is odd then the remainder is x. Coming back to our question we can see that the base value that is x is 135. So the value x is 135 that is our n answer if we divide this question then the remainder that we obtain will be x is 135 now let us assess what we have learned so far in first the denominator has a negative sign so the remainder is 1 in the second part there is a plus sign so we'll take the value of n since n is even here that is 8 so we can say that the remainder would be the value that is 1 since you know n is even. Now in the last part we see that there is a positive sign. So using the same formula we have to check the value of n. So since we can see that n is odd here so we have to take the value of the base value that is the value that is x. So here as we can see that x is 2 in the numerator as well as in the denominator so the answer is 2. I hope this is clear to you. If you have any doubt, please write in the comment section below. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to like, share and comment in the section below. Next, we are going to start a crash course of maths from class 6 to 10th. So keep following the L's and clear your basics by subscribing. You can follow them anywhere on Twitter, Insta, Facebook, WordPress, Tumblr, anytime. Catch you again. Till then, bye-bye.